This will be slightly closer to the helicopter blowing. What's that? This will be slightly closer to the wash. Okay. Find something. When we come back, in case there's snowfall, it'll be easier to find this, these instruments with a big flag. And Brian's going to drill a hole now for the flag. Obviously, stick, stick in down. Yep. And then, uh, how do we get this image? So we have some instruments today that we're putting on the glacier, two different types. One is a GPS, which Brian is hooking up now. And the GPS has an antenna, which is over here. And with that, we can see how the ice, uh, minute by minute, how it moves forward into the ocean and how it moves up or down. We're moving into a medium understanding a substance, glacier and ice, that's far more difficult than the atmosphere of the ocean. This is a far more complex material. It's a fluid, it's a solid, it breaks. So it does things we observe but we don't understand. So it's very important to get this work done if we're going to deliver a forecast, if you will, on sea level. The instruments are turned on because yep. we, you and I looked at the AP res yep. and the GPS are kind of good, they're warming up. Yep. So uh, that's great. The G7 summit's coming up very soon, within a matter of days or weeks. And that's going to be an important event. Again, it sets the direction in which people begin, to be, it sets the direction in which people think about taking action on climate science. And uh, for our part here on the ice sheet, uh, we're finding change in the ice sheet, both in the north and the south. So we're trying to bring scientific evidence to bear on the problem, and hopefully people can use that evidence and make sensible policy and sensible decisions. Uh, so this is the Helheim Glacier, uh, off, far off to my right. In front, the Melange is the Helheim Fjord. And this glacier has retreated uh, more than 10 kilometers or so in the last decade or so uh, from that position far off onto my left to where you see it today. So that's where the ice is grounded on the seafloor, down about 800 meters. 